More news now. Under normal circumstances, the high school winter sports season would be underway. Teams would be playing basketball and hockey. There would have been some meets for track stars and swimmers already, but of course, that's not the case this year, at least not yet anyway. I spoke via Zoom yesterday with Mike Lunny, the executive director of the Rhode Island Interscholastic League. So uh, first of all, Mike, this is your first year as the director of the Interscholastic League, and obviously there hasn't been any type of training that could prepare you for a year like this. Usually you folks are on, on a, a planning basis, maybe like a week out, a month out, uh, but in this day and age, it's literally a day-to-day -day situation. How are you folks coping with this? It's kind of like drinking water out of a fire hose, I guess, at this point. But um, no, I, yeah, we're usually at least one season out in our planning purposes and different things. But um, yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, right now, our focus is completely on uh, trying to get the winter season up and running. So um, most of our schools have started, and there's still a few schools that have not, and they'll, they'll be starting next week uh, with our practices. But we still haven't gotten clearance for games yet. So um, it really is day, day to day with the Department of Health, with the governor's team, trying to uh, work with our principal superintendents, trying to make sure that uh, everything's put in place safety wise, uh, just to give the kids a good experience. Uh, regarding the schedule for the winter sports specifically, at what point do you hope to have some sort of schedule posted for these sports that are supposed to take place? The, the reason that they haven't given us a definitive date yet is because they want to see what this post holiday spike may or may not be. Um, so I don't think they really have that information yet, but uh, again, from a planning standpoint, we need to know sooner than later, and uh, hopefully that's going to be really soon. Lonnie, hoping to get more guidance and information from the governor when she holds her first coronavirus briefing of the year on Friday.